Hi hey everyone, Bernard here. I hope you're all staying safe and well and welcome to my film and TV channel. I hope you enjoy what I've got for you today and please check out uh, as you're watching this uh, little links on screen as well for different things on my uh, Facebook and Twitter and of course my uh, football channel as well. And uh, please, all your comments are very welcome. Just let us know and push that subscribe button. Don't forget, please push the subscribe button. Make sure your notification is set to public as well if you want to know when uh, these vlogs are coming out. Push that notification button as well. So anyway, please, please enjoy. Right, today we have a drama, we British drama. We go over to Channel 4 here in the UK. Please check your uh, streaming sites, wherever you are, to see where you can watch this little one-off. It's a one-off British drama. Uh, about an hour and a half on Channel 4. So if you take all out all the adverts, it's a little bit less than that, obviously. But uh, it's a drama, yeah, very powerful drama, very gritty drama. Uh, it's called Help, yeah, and it's about COVID. If we've not had too much of this uh, this by now, but it's about COVID-19 pandemic in the United Kingdom uh, affecting a care home here in the UK. It stars the wonderful, fantastic Jodie Comer and the wonderful, brilliant Stephen Graham as well, too. Two great parts uh, in the main. Uh, we'll talk about that later. It premiered on Channel 4 on the 16th of September 2021. Well, what's it about? We know it's about a care home, COVID. It's, uh, we go back to 2019, so the start of this. Uh, Sarah begins working. Obviously, Sarah is played by Jodie Comer as a nurse at a care home in Liverpool. Uh, the work is tough, but everyone's world is turned upside down when the COVID-19 pandemic hits. In March 2020, so that's the basis of the thing. And uh, obviously, for you uh, City fans like me out there, yeah, Stephen Graham is Tony, plays a Liverpool fan. So you do get the odd uh, little Liverpool song in it, but uh, don't hold that against him. It's, uh, it's not his fault, it's just the script as it is. There you go. And I think uh, I think Jody plays a blue nose as well for you Evertonians out there as well, but there you go. So it does start Jody Comer, as I said, as Sarah. Stephen Graham plays, plays Tony with the early onset uh, uh, dementia. Uh, he's pretty I think he's supposedly 47 in this uh, in this drama when it kicks off. Uh, Ian Hart is Steve, Leslie Sharp is Gainer, Andrew Schofield as Bob, Ellis Howard as Robbie, Kathy Tyson as Polly, Angela Griffin as Torrey, Steve Garty as Kenny, Arthur Hughes as Tim, and Sue Johnson as Gloria. Yeah, so a pretty good British cast. Uh, there's no real weaknesses, I don't think, in any of the characters, any of the roles played in, the, in this little drama, which is sometimes the case in British drama, unfortunately. We do have a few little weak links on actors, but I don't think we could say that with this one, to be honest with you. Is it any good? What are the critics saying? Well, there's not a lot in at the moment. As I say, it's only the day after this has actually aired, so it's not even been 24 hours yet. But uh, these sort of critic comments are as at the 17th of September at 4pm, so obviously just bear that in mind whenever you're watching this. Uh, Julie Mangan. She's one of two critics to be quick, quick off the mark with her, her comments. Yeah, she's unusual, Julie. Uh, Julie. I don't always agree with what she says, but uh, yeah, just uh, one of her little little summing ups on this. Uh, Even if not all the stratospherically high expectations roused by such a holy trinity of talent are quite met, it still provides in the first two thirds of its 90 minute run one of the most evocative and harrowing depictions of recent history we have yet seen. Yeah, so I think that's, uh, as I say, we'll get on to that last third that she wasn't all impressed in, in a little moment uh, Dom Robinson of course from DVD Fever he's usually hot, uh, quick off the mark with these reviews of British stuff uh, he says it's also claustrophobic to watch with the best performances coming from Coma and Graham and with good support from Ian Hart but it does rather get a bit ridiculous in the final act yeah we've we'll talked about that final act again as events take a turn that I wouldn't have expected in a zillion years Obviously, I can't say what happens, but after you see it, let me know what you think in the comments below. There you go. So let me know as well. Please let me know what you think, because I'm going to sort of probably mention it as well, that last third of this little drama. So uh, there you go. He's summing up Don Robinson. He actually just said, so overall, help is slow, then great, then huh. So obviously into into three part. I'd never say it was overly slow. I can understand, but it's it's obviously developing a storyline, developing characters at the outset. So I wouldn't have called it slow, but uh, yeah, Dom, Dom a bit like Lucy, like likes likes it. You know, she's. I don't always agree. I don't always agree with what they say. But Joe Public, yeah, we've had uh, four hundred and forty four scores and reviews left on Internet Movie Database as I'm recording this, and of that four hundred and forty four. 437 scored it six or more. So that's 98% of the audience had a positive reaction to this drama. 
There were some, there were some negatives, but only seven, uh, as I said. But it's it's early days. It's only four hundred and forty, but that'll obviously be up in the thousands in a in a few days' time. Uh, and there were some great scores. There was a lot of ten out of tens, which I don't believe. I think there's over a hundred ten out of tens. And yes, yes, yes. I mean, even even if it was perfect, I'd be I'd be I'd be deemed not to give something ten out of ten. But uh, I always bulk a little bit. At, uh, you know, yes, all right, give something eight or nine out of ten, but ten out of ten, hmm. okay. Right, my little thoughts, yeah, as I said, some, some of the public reviews uh, echo what our two critics, uh, Mangan and uh, Robinson, said, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm a bit critical of that last third, and I can uh, fully uh, uh, understand it. I, I think they're possibly, possibly right. Uh, that last, the last third, just perhaps the last 20 minutes or so uh, of you watching on Channel 4 with the breaks, it's probably the last section after the final br- final ad break, if you like. Just got a little bit far-fetched and a bit, a wee bit silly, a little bit silly for me, um, because after I thought it was okay the first hour, I thought it was all right. It pushed, it pushed the boundaries of dramatisation as much as it could, but it was fairly realistic uh, considering the <laughs> considering the, what I know myself about care homes my limited my limited time of spending time with them over the years from being a young man and visiting and having people in care homes uh, you know to, to even modern days up to the last two or three years which I'll just mention in a moment but uh, uh, there are comments from care workers, only a couple, so it's hard to say, but questioning questioning some of what happens in this drama. So there is a bit, uh, but, you know, they, they could be management, they could be at the at the sharp end, the, the minimum wage care workers, I don't know who's, but there's a couple of sort of comments about the actual drama not being really that realistic. But, uh, yeah, it is a drama. That's the thing, it's a drama. It's not a documentary. Uh, some people go away and think uh, this is gospel, but it isn't gospel, I'm afraid. This is this is a drama. This is a dramatic of someone's opinion or, or whatever um, and obviously that dramatic license is used to impact on the viewer and that's that's what television is that's what it's supposed to do to you uh, I wasn't completely sold myself I mean having as I said I've I've uh, experienced, uh, I've not, never worked in a care home, but I've certainly spent enough time in various care homes, you know, over the last 40 years at various periods. Uh, I wasn't totally sold on the happy clappy home we get before COVID strikes, which is how it's portrayed in this drama. Uh, but I'm sure I'm sure there are some that are like that. But I'm sorry, I, I perhaps I've seen a, a lower level of care home. I'm not too sure. But I mean, I've I've, I've only ever I've, I've been in a private care home and I've been in uh, local local authority care home. So I do have a, a bit of a, a bit of a sort of a range of what I've seen. But yeah, it's all a little bit happy clappy till till COVID hits and I, I, yeah, which obviously. So as I said, it's a drama. It's not a documentary. So treat it as such. Uh, yeah, I'm on to this poorer last third of the drama. Yeah, it isn't over. It's not going to ruin the overall experience. I did enjoy this program. I thought it was an excellent program. I uh, guess, of course, we're all sick to death. I'm sick to death of, uh, of COVID. Um, and but uh, I think it was something uh, I wanted to watch, and I, I did find interest in my own fiance's father. Sadly, passed away in a care home with COVID, from COVID. Uh, only a cut of the probably three or four months into the. Covid pandemic, if you like, when it's a lockdown, etc. So you know, I've been through that, and obviously my fiance has been through that. Uh, so a lot of things in this did hit home in quite a painful way, as I say, a, a dramatic, obviously a dramatic way. But uh, we can only imagine, um, certainly what what uh, my fiance's father went through. Say you couldn't you couldn't have contact with him, you couldn't speak to him, you couldn't you couldn't get in touch with him. You, you could only imagine, and this this is obviously hoping or tends in a way to bring the realism uh, to you if it can. As I said, some people doubt the realism, but uh, uh, I think it does a, a, a good job. I mean, it's a, it's a worthy watch, uh, this. There may be discrepancies um, with the way this has been put together, but there's not too many histrionics in it. It's, it is what it is. Uh, say, I don't I don't think they play too much uh, over the top. Um, and the Comer's character is at times... Uh, you know, the sort of person you would want looking after your beloved, beloved loved ones, if you like. But uh, then again, she was also the least perhaps believable on some of the actions she did take in this drama. But as I said, it's dramatic license. So, uh, yeah, I don't always expect the actors and characters to do what normal people would perhaps do. But, uh, 
Yeah, perhaps in a a one-and-a-half-hour drama, it wasn't enough time to actually establish that Coma would do what she did in that last third. When you watch the film, as I said, as Mr Dom Robinson said before, let me know anyway if you do watch that last third, whether it is believable. I I personally didn't think it was, but uh, I'm so glad I watched it. As I say, even though I've had a a personal connection, very sad personal connection with, with, with sad things that happened at the time, as many of you... Probably most, a lot of you watching this probably have as well. Uh, I can heartily recommend it as a program to watch, even though it is obviously not the greatest, sub, greatest or nicest subject to watch. So anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, if I've given it a score, um, it's a shame to give things like this a score. Uh, I'm obviously it's watchable. Obviously, it's very watchable. So I would be up to six and a half out of seven, but I'm not. I'm not going to sort of. Uh, really bring this down by giving it a definite score out of 10 it's just uh, i would just say to you please please watch this if you get the chance as i say it's it isn't a documentary don't forget this is a dramatic drama with dramatic license shoes so don't I say we've all got our own brains and all got our own feelings and all got our own personal reflections on what has happened during this crisis but uh, it was certainly a, a very interesting watch for me, anyway. So uh, please, please give it a watch and uh, let me know what you, let me know what you think. That'd be fantastic. Well, uh, yeah, Channel Four, well done. Yeah, it's okay, okay, no problem with Channel Four. As I say, uh, some of their stuff in the past has been a little bit preachy, I think. And as I said, uh, I don't take too much attention where I'm being preached at. I've got I've got my own thing, but I think they did a, did an okay job, a good a good job with this, so to say, it's, it's not a bad watch, let me let me know what you think, anyway, I'm waffling on, because obviously of the subject matter in, the, in this little drama, but uh, thanks for joining me today, anyway, whatever you're going to do, rest day, have a great one, look after yourselves, look after your friends, look after your families, more importantly, let's all look after each other, till we meet here again on the Film and TV channel, or perhaps have a look at my football channel, my Citizen channel, on my team, Manchester City, wherever it is, it doesn't really matter, I only ask one thing, if you don't, sir, please stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.